Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick little first look comparison here with the um, iOS 8 uh, here on the iPhone 5S uh, versus the Galaxy S5 here with under 4.4 KitKat and Samsung's own touch with UI and uh, I just want to compare them a little bit here uh, in, 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 uh, in some stuff and it's just going to be a quick little video, quick little overall look view video. Uh, so. Uh, let's um, let's begin. So let's just drag down here uh, from the top area, and you can kind of see. Wait a sec. I wonder if this one needs no. This one is one on. Yeah, it's on one hundred percent. Seems like my my camera didn't like it, but okay. Uh, okay, so when we drag down here, uh, obviously we can see we have a lot of cool toggles here that we can use on the uh, Galaxy S five, and you can't swipe up from the bottom on the Galaxy S five. Uh, but you can that to get some toggles here on the, the uh, iOS 8 beta. Uh, obviously, this is something that's worked going well in iOS 7 as well. Uh, but something that's new here in iOS beta is that you only have you have two sections today and notifications, and they made it a little bit easier. And also that you will be able to add widgets here to the notification center, and third-party apps will be able to take advantage of that. Obviously, Android has been having widgets now for some time. You can see I have a Google widget over here. And if I want to add more widgets to my home screen specifically, you can't add that to the notification center, of course, here on Android. But um, if I want to add, I can just tap here and I have a bunch of different widgets that I can just quickly add if I want to. If uh, we move on here, um, obviously uh, we have a pretty nice search here uh, that's been improved in you know, iOS 8 here. Uh, it's basically just uh, it's something I think is missing a lot in Android. You just have a simple search, and uh, this one will search for movie tickets and um, App Store and uh, Wikipedia articles and stuff like that. It's just been way more improved. Uh, I mean, it's something like you, you kind of can search here. Let's see if I can search on the uh, on the. I mean, you can kind of search here if you open up the Google Now. Uh, Google Now. So if I search for an app, let's see, camera. And do the same thing here. Uh, but it feels a little bit more, I mean, here you kind of get the Google search results. Don't you just want to get the, the things that's on your phone? Uh, and that's something that you do get here in um, in iOS 8 here. You only get stuff that you're, feels a little bit more stuff that you're interested in, like apps. Uh, if you specifically just want to search for apps on your device, uh, iOS is definitely seems to be a lot nicer. You can also go in here to see, how, how do you do it in here? I mean, it's, it's a little bit weird, I think, here with the, this Galaxy device that it doesn't seem to be an easy way to search for my apps without having like weird Google search results pop up. It, they should definitely be doing that better uh, as Apple is doing. And um, if you see here in the area here where you multitask, let's see here if this one can uh, load up. You can see that the app is like glitching sometimes, the app store, sometimes you have to close, but uh, then again, it's, it's a beta. Uh, but here's the multitasking on the S5. Obviously, you can just you have, you have this cool thing in the S5 where you can close down everything with just one tap. And that's something that iOS definitely needs to be working on more uh, because it's annoying to it's annoying to have to go into or close down each app. Yeah, you can see some glitches here. It doesn't want to work. Uh, but when I have a lot of things open up, like let's open up some things here. You can kind of see that it becomes annoying. You can, sometimes it doesn't want to swipe away. And sometimes you can see this random, well, that was random. Uh, but yeah, it takes some time. Why don't they use, 
create a button where you can close down everything and you'll be able to save a bunch of bunch of time uh, obviously we have Samsung's own S voice here and uh, then we have of course Siri here on the iOS 8 beta which has been improved uh, and it is now way better uh, to be able to recognize music and uh, that's pretty awesome if it's something that's playing in the background what's up hi there Miss Five. what is 5 plus 18 Let me check that. No, the I answer is 23. I can do a search for why baby. Why baby? What? Uh, but yeah, voice, S voice kind of sucks. Uh, Something definitely needs to be work more on that and, and create a better experience. Uh, the camera is pretty nice though on this phone, of course, and the software also is pretty nice because you have a have a bunch of different modes: near shot, and more panorama, dual camera, and. Um, Apple definitely has improved the camera app here on the um, uh, in iOS 8. You have more edit options after you've been taking pictures. You have a quick little mode up here, so it seems like you can take a picture after three seconds, I guess, or something. Whoa, what was that? That was crazy. Let's go 10 seconds. Oh, you can see a countdown here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, square mode, which I think is for Instagram, panorama mode. It seems to be just a little bit better system here to just be able to swipe quick through these menus uh, instead of um, having that a little bit like, doesn't look as good here, like on the side. I don't think it's as good designed uh, as it could be, uh, which do kind of sucks. If we go into settings area here, you can kind of see that both have, um, you can also have a quick little list view here, same as on the iPhone. And it kind of feels like uh, the, the touch with UI here got inspired by iOS 7, because iOS 7 had those little things on the side here. And they were seeing that in iOS 8 as well. Obviously, when we go down here about device, See here from Form to KitKat, which is actually not the latest version of um, of Android at the moment. There's actually a a, um, a newer version now, and Form Form three, which seems to be out for the Nexus five. So I definitely might uh, take a look at that. Uh, there's a lot of cool things inside uh, of um, of iOS that's been updated that I might take a look at and it might compare these in future videos. Uh, you'll be able to have it here when you are seeing all the apps. You can see your favorite context here pretty quick. Uh, which definitely is kind of nice. When we go into lock screen here, you can see it doesn't have changed that much on both here. Both have a quick access here to the camera app if you need that. I also might uh, do some app opening uh, speed comparison uh, if if people are interested in that. That can definitely be some some fun things to to check out, and uh, also some uh, some specific browser videos probably something I can do. You have a predictive text here when you are inside of the browser, uh, or when you're typing here. No, I think. It's, oh wait a sec, it's only in iMessage I think. That's right. Huh? Uh, but you will have a thing in iOS 8, so third-party support for key, uh, other keyboards, which will be pretty awesome. So you can see here when I load up the website. Pretty smooth. And also pretty smooth here on the, on the S5. But of course, the, um, the iOS has um, this kind of cool little thing here. Uh, when I go into something and I want to go back, you can't just swipe it back here on the on the uh, S5, but you can do that on the iPhone. So quickly, just go back like that. It's pretty amazing, actually. I mean, it's so much quicker. Definitely something that Android should do, or yeah, they should definitely try to implement sort of like a functionality like that. See if we have reading mode here on these two devices. 
So you can just tap up here in the corner. It seems to be a little bit quicker there to load up the reading mode here on the um, on the S5 or on the iPhone. I do like it here though on the S5 that you can scroll quicker up and down. Uh, it's a little bit a little bit more annoying on the iPhone because it's, it's just too too slow, and I'm not really sure why that's the case. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a little bit annoying here. And if you compare the UI here, more rounded off design here. Uh, in iOS 8 versus this kind of like squares and, and things kind of like a little bit more of a cartoon feeling here uh, in, uh, in 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 the S5 so yeah I just wanted to do a quick little video here uh, comparing them a little bit I might do more videos as I said if people are interested and um, yeah just have an awesome day and I hope I'll see you all in the next video peace out